Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a comparison between the Craftsman Power Scrubber and the Ryobi Power Scrubber. So first off, I've got them collapsed all the way. Which one's the tallest? The Craftsman. Now let's extend it all the way. The Ryobi extends up to 61 inches, or 51 inches. The Craftsman will extend to 60. So it is a little bit taller. Now with both of them, I can adjust the head. This one actually goes to a straight up and down. The Craftsman will not go to a straight up and down, but I can go that way or that way. Both of them are super easy to take their, their cleaning scrubber head on and off. You're just gonna hold the collar, put it on, and turn it. They're not interchangeable. They do take their own battery. Now the Ryobi is a little bit lighter weight and comes with a handle. They're both waterproof because you're gonna be putting the battery in a compartment right here, and this has helped keeps it watertight. Now the Ryobi does not come with a battery. The Craftsman does come with a battery and a battery charger. So I got them extended all the way. Let's see how well they do on the house. The Ryobi has a single switch right here on the handle. Press it. I can get really far up high. I like having the handle. It lets me put a little bit more pressure on things. And again, if I was washing my house, I could get this wet. All right. Let's set that down. Here's the Craftsman. All right. It's got a button that's on the battery pack right here. You press it. Turn it on. It's got a nice big grip. Again, I can extend it, collapse it. It's all the way extended right now. It's got a nice cushion. I can really press on it. Again, I can extend it down a little bit. When I'm done, turn it off and I'm ready to go. Now the Craftsman will do one more thing. I can convert this into like a handheld scrubber. So if I take this wand off, it's got these big uh, gray knobs you just turn. There's the wand now, I put that off to the side. Line up the dots, it goes together super easy. Now I have a handheld. It's in a fixed position. Again, turn it on. Again, that's really rubber grippy right there. I can do cleaning like that, so. Okay, I bought both of these with my own money. The Craftsman is 150, it comes with a battery and a battery charger. The battery charger is slow, but at least it does charge it. Now the Ryobi, 120, so. For 30, for 20 more dollars or 30 more dollars, um, you will have to get a battery and a battery charger. But if you already have Ryobi, the 18 volt one plus battery items, then this is an excellent tool to get. But you are gonna have a little bit more expense. Um, I did get kind of a generic Ryobi battery pack. There's a review for it. Again, I bought both of these with my own money. Um, I like the longer reach of the Craftsman, but it's kind of a little bit bigger and more awkward. I love how easy the Ryobi is to kind of use with that handle and it's a little bit lighter weight. So kind of a trade-off. Um, this is an all-in-one. The Craftsman's got the battery. You're ready to go. Ryobi, you got to get a few extra parts. Links right below the descriptions. Again, I bought both of these with my own money. Both of them have their benefits. Craftsman, longer reach. Ryobi, a little bit lighter weight, but Craftsman all together. You're ready to go right out of the box. So again, thanks for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe. So I do Amazon live streams. I have an Amazon storefront where most of the products that I review, you can purchase them off of Amazon. I do get a small commission from the sale um, if you do end up purchasing with my link underneath the video, but the product won't cost you anymore. It is a way of helping support my channel. That way I can buy these products with my own money and give you my honest review. And I'm really starting to do a lot of live streams on Amazon. So I'll pick some products that I recommend. I purchase with my own money and I'll tell you about them, and then you can purchase them right there on Amazon. But these are products I recommend that I think do really, really good. So right now I'm getting set up to do, this is my um, Father's Day live stream on Amazon's coming really soon. So these are, I had to go around my house and grab all the products that I use. And so these are just proven products that are for sale on Amazon that I think your dad would absolutely love because I love them and I use them all the time. So that's kind of the perspective I'm gonna come out with my Amazon live streams are products I love and recommend. 
I'm also going to start getting into the Echo devices and Fire TV. So look for a lot of videos coming out on these. These will be on my other channel, Just a Dad Videos Tips. So thanks everybody for watching. I love what I do. I love that I buy these products with my own money. I can say anything I want about them. I want to be as honest as I can with you about these reviews and everything I, you know, I'm going to contacting customer support now is a big deal and I'm going to let you know how that goes. So I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could follow me over on Instagram, I really would appreciate it. And this I just got. This is the Eufy S1 Pro Mock. Now the Mock name's going away, but I'm going to be doing full reviews, comparison. This is a mopping robot and it vacuums also, but it is so cool. It was on a Kickstarter program. I think it's going to be released really soon. So look for videos coming out on this really, really soon. I also just got the Ecovax D-Bot T30S. Now I was not a big fan of the D-Bot uh, or the, you know, the X2 or whatever, but I went ahead and got this just to see how it's going to do. So I bought it with my own money and I'll give you my honest review on it. And I also bought this Eufy S1 Pro with my own money. It was a Kickstarter program. I paid $1,200 for it. I think it might retail for $1,500, but anyway, hey, so far, this thing has been amazing. But it's it's way too early to kind of, I'm going to do a review on it here in a little while. And be sure and check out my other videos. I had to retire the Eufy X10 Pro Omni. Nothing wrong with it. It does a great job. But I've got other robots. I moved the Roborock S8 Max-V upstairs and the Dyson. That's the Roborock Q Revo Max-V. Dream X30, Dream X40. Got comparisons with all of these setup videos, how to's. There's the Dream L20. Got some Roombas. Brand new Crosswave from Bissell. Brand new Tinico Lay for the Stretch and the S7. They've got flash dry now, so they dry their mop pads. There's the old Bissell Hydro Steam. The brand new Sharks. They're just rebrands of the old ones. They're calling them Mess Masters, but there's nothing different. Dream. More Robo Rock. Lots of shark robot vacuum cleaners here. I even reviewed the $99 Dirt Devil. It's not too bad. It's got LiDAR navigation from Walmart. Right now, my favorite vacuum is the Dyson 360 Nav. They updated it twice. It's got the little door open. I wish we could see that. But there's a little side door that comes out right next to the, the wall. This is my absolute favorite robot. This I did an updated review on it. I paid for it with my own money, and originally it was really expensive, but they've updated the firmware, and now it is amazing. Be sure to check out my next video. Is uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. The Roborock S8 Max-V, which I brought upstairs to use as a daily driver mopping, it has a problem. The LiDAR sensor has failed. I've had to contact Roborock, and I'm going to keep you updated on that status. I'm approaching it from a consumer standpoint. Like I bought it with my own money, but I don't want to tell them who I am. I want to see how their customer service does. And that's, I paid a lot of money for that. That way I'm, I'm like, I want this fixed now. So we're going to see how it does so far. Not so good. Um, it's just been a lot of work on my part. So I'm anxious to see how that goes. Again, if you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and check me out on Instagram. I really would appreciate a follow on Instagram. Thanks for watching.